what stock would you like to buy at a 50% discount? Here you see that the number one stock that you said you wanted to buy at a 50% discount was Apple, followed by Tesla, and then Amazon. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can potentially set yourself up to buy these awesome companies or any of your other favorite companies at a huge discount and actually get paid while you wait for the opportunity to buy it. To help you buy these stocks potentially at huge discounts, we're going to sell put options. When you're looking to sell put options, one thing you want to know is that there are many expiration days you could choose from. So the first thing you have to decide is how long do you want to commit yourself to buying your favorite stocks at that big 50% discount. Here you see the various expiration days you have to choose from when it comes to Amazon. And I've just chosen the expiration date of March 15th of 2024 because it's a little bit less than a year out. Now Amazon is currently trading for around $106 per share. So in order to get it at a nice big discount, I've shared three strike prices with you the $60 strike price, the 55 and the 50. So let's say that we're willing to buy Amazon at $60 per share. Here you see the weekly chart of Amazon. So what you're committing to is you're committing to buying Amazon at the strike price of the put option that you're selling. So with Amazon trading at $106 per share, you're committing to buying it at the strike price of the put option you sell. So if we sell the $60 strike price put option, you see that we're agreeing to buy Amazon at a price a lot lower than where it's currently trading. Now let me show you exactly how to line yourself up to have the potential to buy it at a huge discount. Now I've switched over to my interactive brokers trading platform. Let's take a look at the various put options that we can choose from when deciding which price and what expiration they want to sell these put options at. So you see that I've gone out to March 15th of 2024, which is a little less than a year out. So if we were to sell a March 15th of 2024 put option, let's look at the $60 strike price put option. Notice that with Amazon currently trading at $106 per share, we're saying that we're willing to buy Amazon at a price $46 per share less than what it's currently trading at. If we were to sell this put option, then notice here that we would expect to get paid somewhere between $1.20 per share and $1.24 per share. So to recap, we're selling the Amazon March 15th of 2024, which is a little less than a year out, we're selling the $60 put option. That means we're giving the person the right that buys this put option from us, we're giving them the right to sell us Amazon stock at $60 per share anytime between now and expiration day, which is March 15th of 2024. In order to give them that right, they're willing to pay us somewhere between $1.20 per share and $1.24 per share. So let's go in the middle, we'll say that we're gonna receive $1.22 per share. So what that would mean is if we are buying Amazon for $60 per share, each one of these cash secure put options gives the seller the right to sell you 100 shares. So if we sold one cash secure put option and it was assigned to us at $60 per share, that means we have to have $6,000 available to buy Amazon. And that's important to know just in case you end up buying it at your desired price. However, since you don't have to buy it today, but you're giving someone the right to sell it to you sometime over the next year, which may or may not happen because Amazon may or may not reach that $60 price level, then generally your broker will not require that you have that $6,000 right there available to buy it when you sell this option. And that's the case if you're approved for margin. Now in this account I'm trading in, we're proof of portfolio margin. So here you see their interactive brokers is telling us that even though it would cost us $6,000 to buy one put contracts worth or 100 shares worth of Amazon at $60 per share, interactive brokers is telling us that they're only requiring us to have $400 available in margin to place this trade. So we're gonna receive $122 for selling this one put option contract. And Interactive Brokers are saying that we will need $400 in margin in order to have this put option sitting out there. And then once we place the trade, they're saying we'll only need $364 in margin to stay in this trade. Now one thing you wanna understand about margin is that it actually moves around a lot as the stock moves up and down. So with this put option, if Amazon were to come way down in price, then the required margin that Interactive Brokers would require us to have would go up. And I have a video about margin that I'll link in the description below because if you're going to use it, it's very important to understand what you're getting yourself into when you use that option trading tool. So by selling this put option, we're giving someone the right to sell us Amazon stock at a ridiculous discount of $46 per share at any time between now and March 15th of 2024. In order to give them that right, they're paying us $1.22 per share or $122 for each 100 share block or for each put option contract that you sell. But what if you wanted to get more than $1.22 per share while you wait for the opportunity to potentially buy your favorite stock, in this case, Amazon, at a big discount? 
Well, notice here that there are multiple expiration days we can choose from. So now I've switched to the farthest date of expiration day, which is December 19th of 2025. Notice that this expiration day is about two and a half years away or 970 days from today. So if we were to sell the $60 cash secured put option or sell someone the right to sell us Amazon at $60 per share, at any time over the next 970 days. Interactive Brokers is saying that we should get somewhere between $4.10 per share and $4.30 per share. So we should receive about $4.20 per share. So how much margin would Interactive Brokers require us to have set aside if we sold this put option that expires in December of 2025? Well, they're saying that we would need initially $675 in initial margin, and then once the trade is placed, we need to have $614 total for this one put option contract, which is for 100 shares worth of Amazon. Now remember, we're getting $4.20 per share for selling this put option. So you see that by using margin, you have the potential to really achieve some awesome returns if Amazon never reaches this $60 strike price based on your required margin. However, again, you wanna be very careful when using margin because if Amazon were to come down and go below $60 per share, which anything can happen with any stock, whether it makes sense to us or not, then you might find yourself in a position where you need a lot more than $600 per share in margin. And in fact, you would need $6,000 in order to buy the 100 shares for the put option that you sold. Now, what's the likelihood that you get the opportunity to buy Amazon at $60 per share by our initial expiration day of March 15th of 2024, which is just under a year away? Well, if we look over here at Delta, we see that Interactive Brokers is estimating that there's a 5.3% chance that you'd have the opportunity to buy Amazon at $60 per share. Now let's take a look at this same type of trade, but let's look at Tesla. Here you see that Tesla is currently trading for about $163 per share. So if we say we wanted to buy Tesla at a 50% discount, that put us buying it around $85 per share. Notice that if we sold the $85 put option, we received about $4.20 per share for selling that put option. So how much would Interactive Brokers require us to have set aside on margin based on Tesla's current price to sell this $85 cash secure put option? Well, notice here that they're saying initially we would need to have $1,906 in margin available. And once you place the trade, initially we would need to have $1,733 in margin requirement available. And again, remember, that can really fluctuate. And if the market were to come crashing way down, the amount they would require you to have set aside for this position could go way up. But you wanna keep in mind that if this is assigned to you, you end up buying it at your desired price, about 50% of what Tesla's currently trading at, you're gonna to need to have $85 per share times the 100 shares that you'd be buying, so you need to have $8,500 available to buy this stock if the put option was assigned to you. Now let's look at Apple to see how you can buy Apple at a 50% discount and get paid while you wait for that opportunity. So now we're looking at the option chain for Apple. We see Apple is currently trading for about $165 per share. Now for ease sake, let's say that we're willing to buy Apple if it reaches $100 per share. I've done the math for you here, that's right about a 39% discount based on where Apple is currently trading at. How much can we get paid up front to sell someone the right to buy this stock that we love, Apple, at a 39% discount? Well, if we go out to that June 21st of 24 expiration day, we'll say that we're going to sell this put option for $2.13 per share. So we'll receive $213 total minus commission for selling this put option. Notice that Interactive Brokers is saying that we'll have to have set aside in margin $685 initially and $623 once we place the trade. The longer you're willing to put that commitment out there, the more you'll be paid initially up front. Notice that with Apple, if we were to go all the way out to the December 19th of 2025 expiration day, which expires in 970 days, so a bit less than three years away, Notice that for that same $100 strike price put option, we'd receive between $4.75 per share and $5.50 per share, or about $5.12 per share. When you multiply that times the 100 shares, it'd be about $512 minus commission. This just allows us to throw our hat out there in the ring saying, hey, I'm willing to buy $100 per share if the person you sold this put option contract is willing to sell it to you. Now, why would they be willing to do that? Well, if the stock were to crash way down and it were to go below $100 per share, then it's quite possible that the person who bought this put option from you would sell you Apple at $100 per share. So what is the likelihood 
that Apple will end up below $100 per share between now and June 21st of 2024. If we look at our Delta column here, which gives us the approximate percent chance that this option will end up in the money, it's saying that there's a 6.1% chance that you'll get this opportunity to buy your stock that you want, Apple, at $100 per share. Now, although the margin requirement is very small compared to how much it will cost you to buy these shares, remember, Interactive Brokers is only saying we need $623 in margin based on what the stock is currently trading at and their margin requirements, which can change at any time without notice. So although you're only required to have a little over $600 in margin available, you wanna keep in mind that if Apple were assigned to you at $100 per share, you would need $100, which is the put option you sold, times the 100 shares you're agreeing to buy. So you have to have $10,000 available to buy these shares of Apple. Now, once you've sold this put option, then it's time to sit back and just wait and see what happens between now and the expiration day. However, keep in mind that just because you sold an option that like, for example, in this scenario here, expires on June 21st of 2024, it doesn't mean you have to stay in this trade the whole time. If Apple were to go way up in price and the value of this put option would go way down in price. So you can actually buy this put option back that you sold early if you wanted to close out the position. Or let's say, for example, that some bad news came out about Apple, so you no longer felt comfortable buying Apple at $100 per share. Well, again, you can always buy that put option back to close your obligation out. Using this technique allows you to have the opportunity to buy your favorite stocks at a tremendous discount. And the icing on the cake, at least for me, is that you get paid up front to have the possibility of doing just that. This technique of selling cash and put options is what we use every month to generate tens of thousands of dollars that gets put right into our pocket as soon as we sell those options. For example, here you see a trade we did today in Netflix where we did what's called a bullish put credit spread. We received $3.57 per share or $357 for selling this put option contract. If you'd like to receive an alert as soon as we do trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how you can retire on just $250,000 by using the optional strategy, check out the video at the link below. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.